Hello, it's Paul. Hi, it's Megan. And we're here for the August house price report. It is the August house price report. We're going to look back at the property market for the months of June, July and August. I'm going to give you the full details. Beforehand, let's explain where we are. We're in a lovely setting today. Probably the best setting we've had and the best weather. Where are we? Yeah, we're in Kelso, down in the Scottish borders. Um, we are recording a very special podcast episode, so keep your eyes peeled for that in the future. Um, but yeah, today we are just going to be bringing you the stats, as Paul said. And uh, just very quickly, just a little bit about the house price and the general market in Kelso. House prices are up year on year, over 10%. Speed of sales, very good. And we'll look at my notes, 21 days to sell in Kelso. Uh, but as I say, we're here to talk about the overall house price report for Edinburgh Lovian's Fife and Borders. So let's dive right in. Yep, so to kick us off, Paul, what is the average selling price just now? Average selling price, absolutely. Uh, let's start there. Um, and again, we've seen some of the national uh, headlines, house price crash, you know, gloom and doom. The market's down a little bit for this month. Uh, average selling price is down 2.8%. I think there are reasons for this, and we've taken a bit of a, a deeper look into things. What is clear is that there's a lot of property selling below the £175,000 bracket. Some of that property that's come to market has been landlords exiting from the lettings market. Uh, we've seen quite a bit of that due to additional legislation. Those properties are being mopped up, so people are coming in and buying them. Great news is first-time buyers are getting a chance now, getting more first-time buyers coming to the market. But as I say, probably what's distorting the market a little bit is the fact that, as I say, it's the lower price properties that are selling uh, due to the volume of them that's come to the market in the last sort of three, six months. Okay, and in terms of time to sell, yeah. what, what's that kind of sitting at the moment? Well, that's holding up really, really well. Um, the medium time to sell still sits at 20 days, so properties are coming on, and the time it's taking to get under offer, as I say, is 20 days. When you think about it, we're also seeing stock going up. I've mentioned to you there already, we're seeing a lot more properties come to market. Stock is up 43% year on year. And probably another indicator really where the market is settling at is that we're seeing an increase in fixed price properties as well. We spoke about this on the uh, podcast show, as you know, where I think that's good news. It, it gives first time buyers more of a chance that they know what they're, they're aiming at, they know what they're shooting at in terms yeah. of the price, and they can always make a cheeky offer. Yeah, exa so. exactly. Exactly. No, that's really good. What are we seeing in terms of listings, sales? What's happening? Yeah, what's happening? Uh, I think certainly what is happening is in, in August, most people went on holiday. Uh, that's for sure. So seasonality has come into place. It's some, something we've seen since, uh, since the end of COVID, really. People appreciating the holidays more, going away, the switching off. Uh, we see the traffic volumes on the SPC take a, take a fall, particularly in the month of uh, in August. And then when children are going back to school, that dominates things. So uh, general activity is down, sales were down 10.5% and listings were down 3.3%. I think to summarize that, I think really we'll get a better feel for the market uh, in September and October. We'll really see where things are at. Yeah. You know, is this a seasonality thing? possibly or is this a slight new reality where there's just generally less going on and we're seeing you know a, 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 a stability in prices but we're not really seeing that price growth growth that we've seen in previous years another interesting statistic and probably worth sharing is that four out of five properties are still achieving a home report value or higher so okay. whilst there's more choice properties are still selling well and they're still selling relatively quickly. Yeah, that's good news. And I guess uh, something else that we always speak about is that premium. What is yeah. What are people paying over and above that home report value? So 80% <coughs> are achieving it, yes. but, but what's the kind of average over? That's a, again, great question. Uh, one I was ready for. Uh, <laughs> so the, the premium sits at 103.8%. Um, it's down on last year. We were, we're at one point last year, are over 108%. But as we've already described, I think it's good news for first-time buyers because a first-time buyer last year had the prospect of not only finding the money for a deposit, maybe finding seven or eight percent over the home report value to ultimately buy that property. So we're not seeing that this year as much. So as I say, 103.8 percent, but lots more fixed properties out there. Perfect. If you want to find out more about the house price report, you can read the report in full on ESPC.com under our news tab. Um, but otherwise, you will hear from us next month. You certainly will. And, and yeah, and do have a look at that report because we do go into detail about the, the real hotspots, the, the areas that are selling, the areas that aren't. Leaf doing very well again. Yep. Dunfermline doing very well again. Uh, we must go and do a Leaf special. We must do a podcast and Leaf, I think, at some point. But yeah, it's well worth a read. So as I say, find that on ESPC.com. But um, thanks for tuning in. We do appreciate your time and your interest. So yeah, we'll speak to you soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye.